I guess this is how today I'm going to be talking about how to install Ubuntu 20.04 or any other Ubuntu on your PC. Installing Ubuntu is not a complex procedure but it can give you trouble if you do anything wrong or any, take any wrong step. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to install Ubuntu so try to follow every single steps carefully and perfectly. So without any further ado let's start. First of all, you need to download Ubuntu and also you need to download PowerSO. I'll put a link, Ubuntu download link in the description below. Also, I'll put a link for PowerSO. So let's download from here. So after that, you need to download the PowerSO. I'm downloading 64-bit because I'm using 64-bit operating system. Uh, you guys can also use Rufus for creating bootable USB and even Ubuntu recommends to use uh, Rufus for boot making bootable USB. And if you guys want to use Rufus, you can use it, uh, no problem. But if you have any problem with Rufus, I think you should try a power ISO. And if you are using uh, antivirus, then maybe you will receive an alert for downloading power ISO. I think it's fine. I'm using, I've been using it for a long time. I have very much a good experience with this software. So that's why I'm using power ISO. It's a ratio of what you're gonna use. You just need to make an bootable USB and that's it. So after downloading them, uh, you need to make a bootable USB so for that you need to insert a pen drive or USB pen drive um, minimum 4 GB let's open uh, power so as an administrator as I'm using a free version I need to wait and continue unregistered and after that uh, just uh, hit the tools and then create bootable USB drive and then select your USB drive right USB drive and then you need to choose the Ubuntu ISO file that just downloaded. Uh, so that's the file I have downloaded. So let's open it. So that's it. And after that just uh, hit the start button then OK. And I think that's it. Uh, you need to wait a little bit and after waiting you will see a successful message then ok then close it so our usb pen drive is ok and you can see it's showing 3 mb it was actually 8 gb pen drive so i'll show you how to fix it in the at the end of the video so don't forget to check the end of this video there i'll show you how to get your pen drive back if you don't want to use power so I, I already told you i recommend you to use power so but if you don't want to use it you can use the rufus now i'm going to show you how to do it it's an optional if you did this uh, with power so you don't need to make again bootable usb i'm just showing you how to do this using rufus so just uh, select iso file select your drive and then uh, start uh, as i already made an uh, bootable usb using power so i'm not gonna do it again just i i showed you how to do this okay so let's restart your pc after restarting uh, press f12 button or whatever button to open uh, bootloader uh, use uh, f12 or whatever button maybe button it can be f10 button it can be f2 button is different computer to computer uh, so find out what is your button and then press that button while registering and open the bootloader option so select your usb probably usb to load and after selecting that you will see uh, this menu um, so from here you can try ubuntu and install ubuntu as we are going to install ubuntu we're go uh, i'm going to select install ubuntu. so after that uh, choose keyboard layout and then next and after that uh, there you will see normal installation and uh, minimal installation i will recommend you to go with the normal installation because there you will get uh, all the software p drivers and make sure your internet is connected uh, if not you need to connect to the internet and if you don't have any option then yeah you can do it later no problem but uh, if you don't connect to the internet then you will not get option for uh, choosing download updates and install third party software so let's uh, continue so after that uh, here is the most important part um, don't select a erase disk or install ubuntu alongside windows select something else because uh, manual is always better you can do whatever you want so from here you will see all of your drives so don't delete any drive that you need where your personal software application or photos or uh, files are loaded 
delete the drive where you want to install Ubuntu. So here you can see I have two drive. One is uh, SD1, as one another one is SD2. You may have more because uh, if you're using personally, then there should be more. So I'm gonna delete uh, next one. Install my Ubuntu there. And as I don't need uh, the first one SD1, I also am also deleting that drive. So I'm telling you again, if you delete the drive it will be permanently deleted so don't delete your personal drive where your information are stored so as you can see i got uh, 60 gb space here and um, after deleting the drive i have a uh, free space so after uh, if you have the free space then select the free space then hit the plus button and you will get the option here so from here you can select a uh, 30 gb or 40 i'll recommend you to do at least 30 gb to install your Ubuntu. So as you use as select a uh, ext journalizing file system, uh, it's important. In the mount point option, you have to select a root as I'm gonna install my Ubuntu there. So if you select root, then your Ubuntu will install in that drive. So my Ubuntu will install in SD1. So that's it. And after that, I have more 30 GB free space and I wanna use this as a home. So just select the drive and use primary then uh, ext4 generalizing file system uses and one more thing i need to tell you if your pc has uh, less than 4 gb ram then you will need a swap area and i don't believe uh, uh, any people have less than 4 gb ram these days so i'm not showing you and if you have or less than 4 gb then you need to make a swap area of 2 gb at least 2 gb so I'm not gonna show you because um, I think most of pe most people have more than 4 GB RAM and they don't need swap area. So I'm gonna show you how to make a home. And I'm also want to mention that uh, home is not that important, but it's good to make a home drive. But, uh, here you can see that uh, I have a root drive and a home. And root drive is very important. Your Ubuntu is gonna install there. So make sure that you create a root. The next part is device for bootloader installation. So here your bootloader is gonna install. If you have uh, more than two hard drive, then select the drive, main drive where your Ubuntu is going to install. Say I have uh, two hard drive, like uh, one is SSD and one is HDD, and I'm going to install Ubuntu in the SSD. Then I have to select the full SSD drive. You can see I, have, as I'm using in virtual machine, in virtual machine, my hard drive is uh, 60 GB. Just select the full hard drive location. It's full hard drive location, okay? Not any drive. So in my case, it's uh, 60 GB. In your case, it may be 500 GB, one, one terabyte or two terabyte or three terabyte, whatever. Just select the drive. So after that, uh, just uh, hit uh, install now and it's giving me information that uh, I'm going to create uh, two drive and I'm going to format those drive so if it's okay then hit continue and then select your area then hit continue and after that uh, just fill up your information and create account and then continue and after that you have to wait as your ubuntu is going to install so after you're installing your ubuntu if you see this dialog restart now then you have to remove your pen drive not before okay so after that uh, you have to restart your pc Log into your system, it's done, so it's complete. So here is your or whatever version you choose. So now let's see how to clean your USB drive. So how to you know, get your uh, USB drive back. So to do that, you will need uh, power ISO again. I'm showing you in the that in Windows system, but it's also available for Ubuntu or any other Linux operating system. So run it as administrator and wait for a moment. Then continue unregistered and then tools, then clean USB drive and then choose your USB drive. Then hit the clean button and OK. So that's it. Uh, after a moment, uh, you will see your drive is cleaned and now you have to format this drive again and then start then okay your drive is back you can see I have uh, my 
8 GB I got my 8 GB pen drive back so that's it hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you do don't forget to hit the like button and if you didn't subscribe yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and if you have any question or any problem you can leave a comment below because I will always try to help you so that's it for today see you later Ubuntu is a customizable OS if you want to make your Ubuntu just like macOS check out my new video link in the description or somewhere up in the video